awesome. All right, thank you so much for joining us for our virtual dance accepted student event today. We're so excited to have some of our current students here with you to share a little bit about their experience in the dance program. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let them introduce themselves first. Allie, do you wanna go ahead and get us started? Yep, so hi, my name is Allie. I am a senior here at Springfield College. I actually double major with dance and physical therapy. So I'm in my first year of the Doctor of Physical Therapy program. Um, just, and I'm also the president of the dance club, which we're gonna talk about a little bit more later, but I will hand it off to the others. Hi, <laughs> um, my name is Nicole. I am a double major in dance and psychology and I'm also in the honors program and I am the secretary of the dance club. Um, hi, I'm Angelina. I'm a sophomore. I am. Yeah, I'm not too. Sorry. Yes, you are. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm also double majoring in dance and psychology and I'm also in the honors program and I am the vice president of the dance club. <laughs> Um, hi, I'm Danny. I'm a dance major and I'm a freshman. <clears throat> I'm Jenna. I'm also a dance major. I want to add PT soon and I'm also a freshman. Awesome. Awesome. So to get us started, does anyone want to talk a little bit about anyone want to talk a little bit about the best thing about their undergraduate experience so far at Springfield? I can start with this one <laughs> a little bit broad, but I'll attack it. Um, so I think the best thing just overall, uh, I'm going to focus a little bit on the dance program, but um, just in general, the opportunities provided to us in the dance department, especially by Sarah Zender is just so amazing. Um, there's opportunities that range from just learning all different styles of dance, but not just the styles, but the backgrounds and the history behind dance styles and the different cultural aspects and inputs from different um, different societies and different groups of people has really allowed us to kind of dig deeper within ourselves to kind of have some personal exploration and growth in our dance world as well as taking all of that information and reflection into our lives in our personal lives and our academic lives and professional lives. Um, so I just think that the different opportunities provided for different types of dance classes. Um, and I've gotten to go to Italy through the program. I've also danced in New York through the program. It has just really afforded me with great experiences in the dance world. Um, so I just think that the range of opportunities provided by this dance department is phenomenal. Yeah, I was going to say something similar, like um, coming in as freshmen, you have like a lot of opportunities like that you wouldn't have in other places. And especially like with COVID and everything, it's kind of difficult to have opportunities like that. But Sarah makes it like extremely possible for us to have opportunities, uh, even with everything going on. And like some places you'd go and as a freshman, you'd be like in the back, you're not performing or like you don't have those kind of opportunities. But like we have um the chance to like perform and choreograph as like right off the bat so awesome anyone want to add anything else you can go on to the next question if not all right so you mentioned Sarah, the director of the dance program. So maybe can you talk a little bit about, you know, your relationship with faculty members? Do you find that faculty members hold office hours and what kind of support are you getting from your faculty members? I can start this one again. Oh, Nicole, go ahead. <laughs> we have such a strong relationship with our faculty. It's awesome. They're so great. They're so cool. <laughs> Um, Sarah Zender is just an a, ah, amazing human being and we have such great supportive faculty who are adjuncts um, like Lonnie, we have Tara, we have Angie, we have Cody, we have like really strong and the program is also still growing too so we're getting more faculty, we're getting more education. Um, yeah, they're just so cool. I, I think, love them. Yeah, <laughs> I think because our classes are so, I don't want to say so small but like it's a smaller number of students. We have a small program, so we have a lot of a lot more like one-on-one -on -one time with our faculty. 
Um, and I think that really just helps strengthen the relationship. And you can see that they like really care about us beyond just like grading our technique and dance and stuff. So, yeah, you're always able to reach out like through email or through office hours that if you need help with either dance wise, if you need help, like with your own self wise, like mentality wise with your physical and mental health, like it goes beyond just what we do in the classroom. They support you in and outside of the classroom, which I think is extremely important and it's awesome. I think you said basically everything that I was gonna say. The only thing that I would add is the professional development that these faculty are concerned about your future as a human being, um, not just in like as a dancer and like where you're gonna go audition and whatnot, but like really where you're gonna take dance and what you're gonna do with dance to kind of improve our society and kind of just be able to grow as a human being. I think the professional development um, opportunities that Sarah and the rest of the faculty provide is really amazing. We have faculty that um, actually offer internships like at dance studios and different things like that, um, which is a really, really cool experience. Awesome, awesome. So um, in terms of academic support services, what or have you taken any advantage of any tutoring availability or you know how have you found the college to, to support you to make sure that you're maintaining your GPA and, and staying a strong student while at Springfield? I can try. Um, I don't know if it how successful I will be. But um, to start off, we do have a lot of access to tutoring to the Academic Success Center um, in terms of grades, in terms of mental health. We also have access to the Counseling Center here, which is free, and other types of resources such of that nature. Um, but in terms of education-wise, Sarah is very adamant about making sure that you are on top of what you need and if you need to adjust your schedule like she'll say if you're in too many pieces and we if we need to hold back a little bit depending on what you need like if you need that extra time to study she, we will find ways to get it for you um yeah yeah sounds good okay thanks <laughs> awesome so I know a few of you have already kind of touched on internship opportunities that have been afforded to you as a dance major at Springfield. Can you dive maybe a little bit deeper into internship opportunities, maybe specifically, you know, what kind of practicums and internships have been available? And do you find that you have support in finding internships? Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of internships that are offered through the program. So the one I did mention before was one of our professors actually owns her own dance studio and she has taken interns in the past to come and teach at her studio to get experienced student teaching, um, as well as the management side and business side of that as well. So that's an opportunity that you can talk to that faculty about. Oh, we have someone I'm just going to admit someone. Um, and then in addition to like an internship at like a dance studio, we also have a partnership with Jacob's Pillow, which is an international dance festival. And they offer a huge wide range of internships that range from like the business side of dance to dance and photography to choreographic uh, responsibilities to um, I believe there's some sort of like dance research and different programs like that. And you're working with international dance companies that travel the country and um, or it's not too, too far away. Um, it's a little bit of a drive, but Sarah has a great connection with the faculty at Jacob's Pillow. And if you don't know what Jacob's Pillow is, I definitely recommend just like quickly typing it into Google and seeing how um, profound um, that festival is. It's really, really popular and famous in the dance world. And it's one of probably the best experiences and opportunities that our program does provide because only college partnerships with this festival really offer those um, internships and gives us a greater chance to get those internships as a partner of the Jacob's Pillow. So um, those are all definitely like really, really great internships that range in variety and um, yeah. Awesome, awesome. And I know we have a new current dance major who's joined us. Hi, Elaine, how are you? Do you wanna take a, just a quick minute to introduce yourself to our accepted students, just to share a little bit about you know, your name, 
maybe your major, if you're a double major with dance and um, what year you are. Yeah, sure. Um, my name's Elaine. Uh, I use she, they pronouns. I'm a junior in the dance program with three minors in social justice by professional studies and business management. Um, I'm also a cultural connections coordinator um, under the Office of Multicultural Affairs and the newly found, I'm the president of the newly found Latinx student organization. Awesome, awesome. So the next question is about just the campus environment. Um, I think you all live on campus, right? And Allie, you live, um, you're an off-campus student, but right off campus, right? So, and can you all talk a little bit about maybe what you found the campus environment to be like? Like, what's the student life like? Do students stay for the weekends? Are there activities on campus? Do you wanna talk a little bit about your experience? Um. I don't know why I unmuted. I, this is going to be interesting. Um, <laughs> I feel like there's a lot offered on campus. Like, I feel like I'm constantly getting emails about all of the different activities that occur. So there's always something to do. I can't say that, like, I'm a huge participant in them because I'm just always so busy with, like, dance and homework and dance and homework life. Um, <laughs> so I haven't, like... I probably haven't experienced as many of the on-campus activities as another college student, but I know that there are just so many things offered. They make sure that there's always something going on for people to do. And I feel like there's such just like such a range of options too, like yeah. for whatever, whatever people might be interested in. I don't know. There's, there's a lot that happens on campus. Um, and I think it's nice because, because we're a smaller community, um, it kind of, it does a good job of like bringing people together um, and kind of providing those opportunities. So yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> I think Angelina kind of touched upon this, but not only just like the school providing activities, um, I think we have like an absurd, Nikki might be able to tell you the actual number, but an absurd amount of clubs and organizations on our campus. And every year that I've been here, I mean, I'm a senior and I think every year I've been here, I've heard of like three to five new clubs popping up every year. And I'm pretty sure when I came in as a freshman, they were already like, we have this absurd amount of clubs. So I think it's also important to recognize that if like you come to campus and you want to start a club, it's possible. Like if there's a club that isn't they here yet, like you can start it too. But there's so many other options that you can rate like um, that join ranging from like the performing arts. If you want to do like more dance and musical theater, like the dance club, um, or if you want to do, I know Elaine is a part of a lot of organizations that talk about like uh, racial inequity and then just like women empowerment or maybe about like um, just exploring and being appreciative of like her culture and stuff like that. Um, and as well as just like, there's a lot of volunteer opportunities. Um, I'm pretty sure that we have like a good partnership with like the YMCA. And I think there's, um, I'm not exactly sure the names of some of the clubs, but there's some clubs that like kind of like do those like service projects and they go out and about. And there's also a lot of clubs that kind of allow us to interact with our greater Springfield community. So there's a lot of programs that um, help kids tutor. I have friends that are in a program where they help kids in middle school, elementary and high school kind of tutor them on the sides and there's other programs that is not just about the academics for those types of children and students in the community but also just programs to kind of um, engage with them and give them more opportunities and just teach them to do something fun and so there's such a range of opportunities and experiences that you can have on campus besides academics. Awesome anyone else want to add anything? Do you maybe want to, anyone want to highlight maybe opportunities that you all have for dancing, even outside of your major specific coursework? I know you've mentioned the dance club, but I know there's also the, the dance repertoire company. Um, so does anyone want to talk a little bit more about opportunities for dance on campus? Uh, I can, I'm the president of the dance club, so I can kind of talk to that. Um, so um, as the dance club, we are, are separate from the department, but we do still closely work with Sarah. She's our advisor. But so every semester, the dance club provides master classes and we invite guest artists to come teach in a variety of styles that range from ballet to hip hop to contemporary to Latin dance forms to heels classes. 
Um, so that's something that we have about like four to five every semester. Um, then we also have creative stations where we sometimes we like just like have fun creating dances or just learning about dance history. And there's also in the spring, we have a student choreographed show. I think that Jenna or Danny might have highlighted this that um, fortunately in our school and at our school, um, we allow freshmen and any people of any year, you don't even have to be a dance major or minor, the opportunity to choreograph for our final um, showcase at the end of the spring semester. So it doesn't matter um, what style, it doesn't matter what your level of technique is, it doesn't really matter, we are open to everyone. So that's a really great experience for individuals to choreograph and then also anyone who's anyone can uh, come and audition and do that dancing as well. And then the program itself also offers master classes throughout the year. And there's another fall show that faculty choreograph for in the fall, um, which is usually just a few numbers and usually put on by the faculty. And we usually also have a guest artist that comes. We usually, um, I don't want to know if the word hire is appropriate, but maybe like invite um, a guest artist to come for a weekend or so. Um, and they usually will gather a group of students and teach a piece that also is showed in the fall show. So there's always opportunities to dance on campus. Awesome. So do you all want to wrap? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Nicole. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're okay. Go ahead. Um, I was just going to touch off of that is that because like we're in the world of dance and it's so important to have such a strong network and to communicate with as many people as possible that the fact that we have so many different and very like different in styles and different just a very large range I know I keep saying the word over and over again but it's a very large range <laughs> of people who come to this campus whether it's through master classes, whether it's through guest residencies, like you get that opportunity through the dance department and also the dance club. So that's like double your network. And in this business, that's so important that like, hey, I took that master class with you once and it was really cool. Um, so that's what, what you have in this business. So the fact that we have all these opportunities is really awesome as a dancer. I use that word a lot today too, but that's okay. Here we are. <laughs> Awesome. Anyone want to add anything else? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Um, I just want to say, like, you're dancing a lot too. Like, it's not just like uh, a once or twice a week. Like, I have classes every single day and rehearsal on the weekends. Like, you're dancing a lot, and it's really fun. So, just to add, um, with that, we get opportunities through like um, collaborations with like the Mas uh, Office of Multicultural Affairs and we get to perform at um, some of their uh, token uh, programs such as Women's Tea. So we submitted a video for Women's Tea through our dance repertoire, uh, dance repertory touring company. Um, and we're also hoping to submit one for Legacy Ball, which is through one of the clubs called uh, SSBB. Uh, Society of Students Bridging Diversity. Awesome. So to wrap up our conversation today, maybe if you each want to talk a little bit about, you know, one thing you love about Springfield or what made you choose to enroll at Springfield College or a piece of information that you think these accepted students would find helpful as they make their final decision on where to enroll, which is hopefully going to be Springfield. Yeah, I can start. So um, I have a lot of anxiety and like stuff like that. So making friends is very difficult and like talking to people is very difficult for me. But coming to Springfield, I immediately felt like comfortable in the envir environment and like I was able to make friends like pretty quickly. Um, I have like first semester, I had like every single class with Danny and <laughs> it like made it so that like, I don't know, I could just make friends and have a good community pretty quickly. So that was good. Um, kind of going off of what Jenna just said, I uh, have a very similar experience, I think. Um, I also, I really like that we're, I mean, I know a small school isn't for everyone, but I really like that we're a small school in a small department. Um, Cause I, we have like, there's, there's 10 majors right now, I think. 
right? Yeah. So like, it's not a lot of us, but it makes us like, so that we're spending like so much time with each other, which like, I think is great. <laughs> um, but we're, ooh, I'm gonna break things. We're spending a lot of time with each other and we just get the chance to like really build connections beyond just dancing with each other. Um, which then like enhances our dancing. So it's a win-win. Um, but I think we just have, like, we're super lucky to have such a small and not small, strong and supportive family and community here. Um, and that's one of the things that really drew me to this when I was looking at the school um, was that I saw it was not just like competition and like, you're not, it's not like I was dancing next to Nicole, but my goal was to try to be better than her and it's very, it's very supportive. Um, and we were all just trying to like push each other to succeed. So that was, that's, that's what I love about it. I need an extra second to articulate my words. So if anyone else wants to hop in real. I got you, Nicole. Um, I think one of the biggest things that drew me to Springfield College was the Office of Multicultural Affairs along with dance and working with Sarah. Um, I really enjoyed the ability to grow in a professional sense and be able to work with um, collaboratively with other organizations and individuals that we brought to campus. So being able and that that is um, spread out through a lot of organizations and clubs um, and classes that we have on campus where we're getting professional growth on hands-on experience um and like honestly like I had trouble sending a professional email and like that was like my biggest thing um coming to Springfield and I was able to grow and now I can articulate myself way better than I used to my first year um with just having this experience and like coming as a participant through the CCLP then going as a leader and then now as a coordinator, I've seen the growth. And so um, I take that with like collaborating with uh, the dance department and sending professional emails and reaching out to like guest artists. So just that potential for growth and the growth mindset that we have here on campus is really helpful um, along with a supportive um, family. Um, kind of adding on to like what everyone said, one of the things that I really liked about this school is the fact that if you need help or if you have a question and you need to go to like some faculty member or some professor, you're able to do that and they'll actually help you out and talk to you versus a different school where they might not even remember your name. So like having those kinds of um, faculty members and like authority figures to actually help you and understand what you're going through was a really big deal for me when choosing the school as also the big community that we have as dance majors and being a family. <laughs> going off that a little bit, I'm sure that if you've toured Springfield and gone on tours and you've seen that our little motto is spirit, mind, and body. So I think that one of the reasons that I chose the school is that that message is really in line with my ex my ethics and values as a human being. Um, I think that as, I mean, I wanna be a physical therapist that works with dancers, but even as a dancer, um, just thinking about cultivating that balance between spirit, mind and body is something that this school really truly tries to embody and just tries to allow each student to have that personal growth and exploration to be able to cultivate that. And it's something really important to just uh, take away from this school and, and like bring into your professional and personal lives after college. So it's one of the biggest reasons that I chose Springfield as well as the support um, and just true like personal care that Sarah and a lot of these dancers provide. It's just super supportive environment where you're really uh, feel safe and supported to fail and to succeed and to grow. So it's a very uh, family oriented campus and department. Family oriented. I was going to use that word too. Yes. Um, well, that was very well articulated and that probably should have been the note we ended on, but I'm going to speak. <laughs> um, so the main reason that I got drawn to this campus was Sarah and her enthusiasm for where, like her love for her dancers being like, we have so many great things here. Like we want you to grow. Everyone around you wants to grow. This is a safe place, which everyone really touched upon already. 
Um, I came from a quite recreational dance background um, and my style primarily was tap. So, and coming to a school that didn't have tap and many styles that I was not familiar with, I was like, this is gonna be really interesting. Um, but Sarah's like, okay, we'll get it. We'll get tap eventually if you want to. If you're, well, let's do it. And I was like, what? <laughs> that's, that's like a, that's a thing. We could do that here. So her openness to like getting things started, like getting the ball rolling, wanting to work with you and what you want to go, where you want to go and what you want to do was really exciting to me. And I was just like, wow, we could do things here. Like, ah, so exciting. Awesome. Awesome. That was great. Thank you all so much for sharing about your experience as a dance student at Springfield College. And thank you, Accepted Students, for joining us and watching this recording. And we hope that you'll be joining our Springfield College family soon. But thank you all so much.